so I've come down the plot uh, this afternoon uh, just to feed the chickens, check on them, make sure they've got food, water, grit, etc. Just my usual routine of every couple of days, come down to check. Uh, everything's good, but it's such a nice day. I mean, I've been out today, I uh, had a few things to do, um, and uh, I've just got here. It's only six degrees, so it's pretty cold, but the sun is out and it's in my face and it feels like I'm in Spain. It's just lovely and warm and, oh, it's brilliant, it's great. Um, got my phone in a bit of a weird position at the moment because it seems to be wherever I go, I either get a reflection of something, the greenhouse or whatever, uh, just because the sun's low in the sky. So uh, I'm kind of, hence you can you can see the trees behind me. Um, but I uh, thought I'd let the chickens out for an hour. I thought I'd sit here and just enjoy the plot, really. That's what it's all about, I suppose, isn't it? Just enjoying the plot. Sometimes we get caught up in the whole jobs to do situation and we don't really um, appreciate what we have. So, yeah, I intend to do nothing for the next hour. I'm just going to sit here and watch my chickens. I'm going to bask in what's left over the afternoon sunshine. Uh, and that's it, really. I haven't had to do a thing. Chickens still had loads of food in their hopper. Um, I topped up their water, but there was loads of it anyway. And I've collected the eggs. What are you doing, girly? They really like pecking the fluff off my joggy bottoms. I have no idea why. <laughs> Strange things. Anyway, guys, I might do a bit of sunset filming. It's bizarre. Right, can we bugger off now, please? Go and get some worms. You're going in in a minute. You're wasting your day pecking my jogging bottoms. Go on. I know you like worms. Go on. Shoo, shoo. No. You're actually... They're actually licking. I can only imagine that my jogging bottoms taste nice. Look, if you watch their tongue, I don't know if the camera's good enough to pick it up. But they're sticking their tongue out and licking. And that one's up my sock now. I got all four. Two there. One up my sock. One down here. Can, can we. Whoa, 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 whoa. And one just went for the crotch area. So I best put a hand there. Don't fancy having a peck in the testicle. No idea. If anyone hasn't the foggiest why my chickens like to peck my jogging bottoms and my gloves let me know I genuinely I know I joke about it but I, I really haven't got fleas my other half washes my clothes every day bizarre also if anyone knows that chicken there, that's what she's eating, they are hyacinths, and they all love them. And they're obviously, I always thought hyacinths were poisonous. They can't be that poisonous, because the chickens have been eating them for over three months now. So it looks like this year I'm not going to get any hyacinth flowers on the allotment. 
This is the joys of having chickens. Nothing, nothing is sacred. Plants, vegetables. Is it? You'll eat anything, won't you? Oh, they also, for some reason, watch it. They like plasters. There you go. You're gonna make a liar of me now. You're gonna make a liar of me. Yeah. Oh, that's my finger. I had one the other day that spent about 10 minutes trying to pull my plaster off. What a strange day. Black over there. Sunny over there. Really black over there. Really sunny over there. It's bizarre. And we've had snow. Crazy. Absolutely crazy weather. It's quite cold actually. It's, uh, I think it was one degree or zero in the car. It feels a lot colder. It feels about, I don't know, minus three or something. Anyway. Hi, how you doing? So I've come to the allotment today. Uh, it's been minus six the last the last 24 hours here in Shropshire, and we've got a burst water pipe. I've called the council, there's no answer yet. But I just thought I'd show you because I'm gonna hang around for a little bit, a little fire, just to see if I can get someone to come out because it's, it's gonna absolutely ruin this person's plot here and over that side and this side. If it keeps going all day, it'll be, it'll be swamped. Especially if we get a thaw, the best thing to happen to this now is if the whole thing really freezes up and stops it. Anyway, we'll spin the camera around and you can have a look for yourself. <clears throat> so, not very good really, is it? Hmm. I hope the guy calls me back or he gets the message. It's quite pretty though, all the icicles, but it's not what you want to see. And I don't know where the stopper is to turn the water off. <sighs> so um, I'm stuck basically, completely stuck. Anyway, I've lit myself a fire. I'm gonna go and sort the chickens out. I'll just have to hang around for an hour or so. Hopefully till someone comes. If not, I'm just gonna have to leave it. And they've got, obviously the council got a key, so. But I would like to get hold of someone before I leave. I don't really wanna leave it unattended. And then no one comes down or no one gets the answer phone message. So, uh, anyway, I'll get back to it. I wanna go and get warm. I only popped down in a jumper because I was only going to feed the chickens, uh, make sure their water wasn't uh, wasn't frozen, and then I was going to go. So, yeah. Right. Speak soon, guys. Ah, oh. ah! Oh. It feels so nice. I've got warmth on my legs. Warmth on my legs. Ah. Oh. Gonna defrost a little bit before I sort the chickens out. Oh, that feels nice. Feels nice, doesn't it, chickens? The chickens are actually uh, gathered around a bit as well. I thought animals were supposed to be scared of fire. Obviously not. Oh, I feel like I'm defrosting now. I'll try the council again in a minute. Right. Best get some work done. Gotta feed these chickens. Hi. Well. Still no sign of anyone from the allotment yet. I haven't been here that long. About 20 minutes or so, half an hour. Just uh, part of me wants to go. Part of me doesn't want to go. 
and I'm gonna give it ten more minutes, and then I'm probably gonna drive up to where the offices are, see if anyone's in. Um, I'm pretty sure they're not closed today. I don't know. Maybe they are. It's a Wednesday. Uh, it doesn't say they're closed on the answer phone though. Anyway, I'm rambling. It's quite nice sitting here in some respect by the fire. Although my toes are a bit cold because I've only got trainers on. Sun's out. Chickens are out. They're getting a bit of a mooch, which they wouldn't have normally got if I'd have gone. But they don't seem to be doing much other than congregating by the shed and the fire. So yeah. That's it for now. Not a lot really. Just a water pipe first and I'll shut up. Speak soon. Woohoo! I've got dill. I've got tomatoes. And I've got some sweet peppers. Things are starting to grow. And it's minus six outside. Well, the beast from the east came. It's very cold, the wind is really cold. Snow's not as bad as it was earlier on in the year though. Well, not in Shropshire it's been, it's been bad other places, but we've, we've done alright, we've got a couple of inches and a few drifts, but not too bad actually. Still got a burst tap. Chickens are alright, although I've got an egg eater. Caught her at it. So we've got one last chat, and they had plenty of food, they had plenty of grit, they had everything in there, and she decided to break an egg. I don't know whether it's the cold or what, or but she's got one last chance, otherwise she's going to have to go. If I catch her at it again, she'll be a curry. Like I've said before, my chickens have got a purpose to eggs for, to lay eggs for me. Um, I can't be doing with a chicken eating two or, or breaking two or three eggs every couple of days. So we'll see how we get on. Trying to get Mr. Robin, he's come back. I put some food for him. He actually come right by me today. I, I was like here, and he got right on the tree there and cheeped as much as say, Help, help, food. And he's never been that close before, so he's obviously suffering, bless him. But he's had a few mouthfuls. He's down there now. Oh, that's a sparrow going into the bloody chicken coop. But yeah, so. They're all struggling, the wildlife. Notice hedgehog tracks at the garden as well today. I've got two hats on today. My thermal well is with three pairs of socks and my toes are still cold. I'm a little bit miffed today because I got down here and the water tap that was burst is still pumping out water. And all the gates were unlocked and the first gate was actually open. So I don't know if someone from the council has come down to have a look and decided not to fix it and gone away and just left all the allotment open. But it's, uh, it's annoyed me actually. I mean it's not hard, you just click the lock back on. I mean I know if someone wants to get in they're going to get in, they're going to climb over the fence or unscrew the bolts or something but they've, they've got to go out their way to do that. When you leave the gates unlocked and, the gates, and one of the gates open, you're telling everyone who's walking past, oh, pop in and have a mooch. So, a bit miffed about that. Seems to be, can't get hold of anyone from the council. No one seems to know what to do when uh, when people are away on holiday and poorly. Doesn't seem to be any emergency contact number. So it's a bit of a pain, really. And I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not a plumber. I haven't got a clue. I haven't even got anything down here or anything at home that I could possibly think of using to fix this pipe. It's a plastic pipe and it's split. I mean, no idea. Oh well. So anyway, we're into March now, onwards and upwards. Hopefully this weather stops in the next few days and things get sorted, but...
it's a bit of a pain right now. It's more, more of an annoyance, this weather. This is why, if you're going to commit to having chickens on an allotment, you've got to be prepared for days like this. Don't particularly want to be down here in the cold. Wait for the wind. Don't particularly want to be down here in the cold, but the chickens need food and the chickens need water. So, and I can't let them suffer because of my laziness. So, you know, if you're going to have chickens, rabbits, anything on an allotment or even at home, as you know, remember that you got to go out in all weathers. I mean, I do my chickens every two days. Three are pushed, depending on how I'm fe feeling. The food lasts for three days. I know that much. I've, we've, I've tr tried it several times now, and they have plenty of food and water for. Well, they have plenty of food and water for four days, but I'd never leave them for four. Um, so yeah, so I at a push. I know that they'll be all right. But in these freezing conditions, obviously their water's freezing up. You want to check them and make sure they've got enough hay and straw in the nest boxes so they can get in. I've noticed that they are actually sleeping in the nest boxes, and to be perfectly honest, I don't blame them because it's cold. Um, I think that's possibly where the one has started pecking the egg. I think they've probably been sleeping in the nest boxes, the egg's broken, and they've worked out that eggs are tasty. Just making sure my doors are locked. So yeah, that's why I'm going to give her a chance. I mean, it's, it's not been a regular thing, it's not been every day we've had egg eating. But it's been enough now to seriously keep an eye on it. I put them in loads of corn today. They don't normally have that, it's a bit of a treat. Hopefully keeps them active, gets them scratching about and keeps them warm. Water's been topped up. So really and truthfully, that's me done. I'm just having a one final mooch my back's a bit sore it's the cold it always does it in the cold can't sit down can't stand up and as i've said to you before it's the actual walking that does it for me putting one foot in front of the other so i'm just having five minutes rambling on at you guys give my back a bit of a rest well march is here so is the beast from the east hopefully from now on spring starts to get you know better but until the next video guys take care speak soon mm -hmm.